Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. So today is still February 26, 2023, uh, 2.48 p.m. though. So again, this is the last Sunday in February of 2023. Um, there's about two days left and then we're going to be in March. So that's exciting. All right, so before I get started, um, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. If they resonate with you and gives you clarity, great. If it doesn't, that's all right. Don't force it to be your story, right? I do have a message as well. But um, before I do that, I just want to start off with a prayer of protection. I pray to God and call upon Archangel Michael and any ancestors, angels, and spirits of the highest white light that love me unconditionally to continue to protect me and my family during this time. Please help us see things clearly and to help us remove the fog of illusion that has led us down a false path in the past. Amen. All right, so... The first thing that I want to talk about is um, there's like a, a tracking energy. Uh, someone is trying to track you or uh, find you or look you up or something. Um, this person could even go on websites and pay for tracking services. I literally just saw a commercial for like a tracking service. Um, so... I don't know who this person is. I don't know what their intentions are, but that is, that's a side note. All right. So if it comes up again, then it comes up again. But aside from that, um, I just wanted to share that with the collective. All right. So aside from that, um, that's still hot. I'm going to start pulling some cards now. Um, yeah. Let's get some cords. I'll move that over there. And then I'll push that there. And then. All right, great. Actually, you know what? I could probably move my tea. Oh my gosh, perfect. This is so cute. I love this setup. Like, I really got to, like, give it to my fiancé because he is super handy with these things. So, he was able to put this together in, like, a gif. So. He's pretty cool. So all about three, two minutes of watching me move these cards around. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, aside from that, I hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. Oh, if anyone needs a personal reading, you're welcome to email me. Okay. Um, hold on one second. And, um, you know, send me an email. I have my prices listed in the about me section on my YouTube channel and also in the description box of like every one of my videos. So give it a ganda if you want a reading. Okay. Also for March, I'm going to be doing three free 10 minute readings. So, um, but I'll post that information when March hits. So anybody that's interested, um, you know, I'll just pick three people and then you will get a 10 minute reading for free. All right. So I think I'm going to be doing that monthly because I did it in February and I did it in, uh, January, but not for YouTube. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for YouTube. Well, I did it in YouTube February, but, um, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, I will post about that. So, 
so you can all keep an eye out on that if that's something you're interested on. Ooh. You know, this could be the person that's tracking you. All right, so this is what we got. First of all, we have 444 protection. The universe and your spirit, spiritual guides are protecting you. All right, collective. One second, hold on. It's so funny because I was like, hold on one second, and then my phone went off. But I just had to take care of the glare in my background. Um, so, and then we have your karmic. Wait, <laughs> your friend is a karmic. So, collective, you're being protected, and then your friend is a karmic. So I wonder if this is the person that's trying to find you, locate you, track you. All right. So, but like I said, if it comes up again, we'll find out. I feel like this is better lighting anyways. Let me see if I should turn this up. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works. Um, I don't know why I did it. False offer. Um, okay, so you're a friend who is a karmic. They were offered something, but it was a false offer, right? And now they're over here saying, I don't know why I did it. They could have found out that the offer that they were given was also false. It's kind of like somebody who does something bad and then they like to be like, oh, I don't know why. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, Harry Potter, right? So during one of the great wars in Harry Potter, when like Voldemort was like, he had risen to high power the first time. When he was at, at the height of his power, um... There's like three forbidden curses in Harry Potter. There's the Cruciatus curse. Um, there's the Killing curse, and then there's the what is it? The Cruciatus, the Killing curse, and then the one where um, hold on. All right, sorry. They're called the Unforgivable curses. Unforgivable curses. Um, the Imperious Curse, the Cruciatus Curse, and the Killing Curse. Yeah, so it's the... I'm talking about the Imperious Curse. Okay, so the Imperious Curse is... Well, obviously the Killing Curse is the one where, you know, you just say the spell and everybody dies, right? And then the Cruciatus is just, like, torture. Um, Neville Longbottom's parents were actually tortured um, to a point where it was, like, a worse fate than death because they, like, lost their mind. But anyways, aside from that, that's not what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is the Imperious Curse, where... A lot of people back then, they claimed that they were under the Imperious Curse. Um, a lot of them, they really weren't. But the reason why the um, Imperious Curse is an unforgivable curse in Harry Potter is because you use that curse, people use that curse to make others do their bidding and their will. And it's kind of like, um, you know, you're controlling someone else to do what you want them to do for you so you don't have your hands dirty or just because whatever the case it is, right? So it's kind of like that. This person could be claiming like, oh, I don't know why I did it. Like I had amnesia or I was being controlled or la, 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 la. But, and so that's why they're saying, I don't know why I did it. But somebody offered them something and it turned out to be a false offer. And now because the offer was not a real offer, it's kind of like, now, all of a sudden, they have amnesia. Like, now they don't know why they did it. However, had this offer been, like, a tangible, real offer, then they wouldn't be out here saying, I don't know why I did it. But because whatever they were offered, it, like, fell through or something like that. And now they, they, they can freely, it's like they think that they can say that. If they don't know why they did it, it'll give them leeway, right? It's kind of like the evil villain all of a sudden has amnesia, and now he doesn't know why he did what he did, right? It's kind of like that. But anyways, so this could be, I don't know, um, whoever this person is, this could be the person that's trying to look for you, that's trying to track you, trying to get in contact with you. Um, what did the commercial say? The commercial said something like, there's reasons why people go to our services because they either need um, something about skipping town. There's reasons why people skip town. The reason why people skip town, this is what the lady was saying in the commercial, is because they either have to testify in court and they don't want to testify in court, 
or because they just want to, or because they owe people a lot of money. And then she said, but then there are other reasons why people use our services because they want to find someone who wants to protect their privacy and doesn't want to be found. So I feel like somebody offered this person something and now they owe money and they're trying to skip town. Or I, I don't know, there's something like that. It's um, somebody offered your karmic friend something and because it fell through, now your karmic friend, all of a sudden, they don't know why they did it. So they could be telling the police or somebody in like a like a judge or something. Like, I don't know why I did it, blah, blah, blah. Your karmic friend is the one that's trying to find you. This is messy. Your karmic friend got into some shizzle that they should have not, they they should have never been involved in or something. Magic curse hex has backfired, and that's because you're protected. Spiritually fertile. You're spiritually fertile, collective, and you're protected. And you're very stable. All right. So you could be a Taurus or this person could be a Taurus. But this really is a lot. This really has to do about money. Somebody offered this karmic person money. And to do something, what is it? To do what? Whatever it was, your karmic friend didn't get the money. Nobody, it's like the offer fell through or it was like a fake offer. It was kind of like, if you do this, we'll give this. But the other party never intended on giving your karmic friend anything. It was just fake just to get your karmic friend to do whatever it is that they needed the karmic friend to do. And now your karmic friend is like, oh, I don't know. I was under the imperious curse, right? It's like, I don't know why I did it. But they did it for money. And come to find out, you collective, you're the one that's very stable. And they're not. There was, oh my God, there was um, a value, like um, like a bounty. Like a hit. Somebody put like a dollar sign over your head. Somebody put a dollar sign over the collective's head. And they told this karmic friend of yours, if you do this, blah, 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 we'll give you x amount of money but nothing happened right and now your karmic friend is caught up in something and now they're claiming they don't know why they did it and they think that they can say that and get away with it because they have, they don't have any tangible money like they don't have any money to prove it but there is something that is like there's proof of what they were doing i'm not gonna get into that but um somebody put a dollar sign over the collective's head So, first of all, this is a secret. This was supposed to be a secret. It's kind of like, do this. Somebody went to your comic friend and said, do this, and then we will give you this. But don't worry, because nobody will know. And that's another reason why this karmic friend of hers is she thinks she or he can think. Wow, I said she. So it could be a, a, a feminine. But she thinks, or he, this person thinks that if they say they don't know why they did it, they will be like, um, they'll be like, um, get, they'll get like a, at most a slap on the wrist. So either a Taurus put a dollar sign over your head or a Pisces put a dollar sign over your head. This was supposed to be a secret. It was like a secret hit. Because of your stability. They didn't want you to be stable. This has to do with money and stability. This person wanted to, they, they just wanted to end the collective. They just wanted to put an end to the collective. So they put out a hit. 
And in order for them to do that without getting their hands dirty, they went to your friend who was a karmic all along and was like, hey, do this and then we'll give you some money for it. But nothing happened. The deal or the plan, whatever, it fell through. But here's the thing. This karmic friend of yours, it's like everybody's pointing the finger at this karmic friend. They couldn't get the hit out on you or point the finger at you. And now this karmic is like, I don't know why I did it. I don't know why. Oh, no, 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 no. This karmic friend of yours, they're crying. And they're like, because they're stuck in a position they can't get out of. And now they're in their head. Like, I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. They're crying. They can't talk to anybody about this because this has been a secret. This was supposed to be a secret, right? Third party went to the karmic friend of yours. Karmic friend was supposed to help them get a hit out on you, offer money. Nobody got money. They can't talk about it because it's supposed to be a secret. And now everybody's frustrated except you. This hit could have been either, it w if it wasn't like a physical, it was like with a magic, like a, like a death spell or something like that, like a, a, a curse or a hex, but nothing happened. This was supposed to dismantle your stability. But nothing happened. And now these people, they're, they have karmic debts. And the crazy thing is, if this was a Pisces that put out this hit, Pisces is the 12th house. Oh, yeah, um, Pisces. Pisces, and then Taurus. What is that saying? Oh, yeah. Um, Pisces is all about karmic debts. So it's like if a Pisces is putting out hits, their, karmic is, their, their, their karma is going to come back even faster. Look, you don't need them in your life. These are people you don't even need in your life anyways. If this was a Taurus that put this hit out, Taurus is all about stability. So if this, who, if this was a Taurus that did this to you, their stability is going to be dismantled fast. If a Pisces did this to you, their karma is going to come back fast. Don't tell people I copy you for clout. ex-girlfriend or wife okay so um first of all i feel like there's three people here your friend likes to copy you for clout and then either you could be an ex-girlfriend or an ex-wife or this is an ex-girlfriend or ex-wife that likes to copy you for clout This could have been someone you considered a friend at one point. So. Oh my God. All right, hold on. All right, somebody's ex-girlfriend or ex-wife came to you with the false offer of wanting to be a friend, but they were a karmic. So if they became your friend, your friend was a karmic, right? This person, they just wanted to copy you, but they didn't want people to know that they were copying you for clout. And on top of that, this hit, whatever magic crooks, hex, whatever they put on you, they're crying, pretending they don't know why they did it. And the only reason why they're crying is because they're going through karma right now. And they can't talk to anybody about this because this was something that they did in secret. Which is messed up because they came to you wanting to be a friend, but that was fake. It was only so that they can copy you. Don't tell people I copy you for clout. 
They didn't want they didn't want people to know that they were secretly copying you and that their friendship was fake. And now that they're going through um karma, it's like wow. Wolf and sheep's clothing. Somebody's ex-girlfriend or ex-wife came to you. It's like, hey, I think we should be friends. We should make this work, blah, 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 blah. When they became your friend, this person was already a karmic, right? Your friend is a karmic. So this is somebody that's currently in your life right now. If you don't, if you haven't gone through this, you could be going through this. But for a lot of you, this is somebody who's still in your life because the, uh, your friend is a karmic, which is current, right? They were only um, asking or, you know, trying to like bend or uh, mend bridges to be your friend because they wanted to copy you. This is, I feel like if this is about the last reading, this is somebody who wanted to do the switch bait and switch energy. Take your energy, copy you, the white witch. And then that way you would be seen as the karmic. Meanwhile, they're secretly doing magic and putting hits on you behind the scenes. Yeah, my flyer just flicked. All along, this was a, a karmic friend who gave you, they just, it's like they wanted to be your friend in public but hate you in secret. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And now because they're going through whatever it is that they're going through, and, and it's funny because everybody, the spiritual realm, they're looking at this person like, you really don't know why you did what you did. Like, you don't know. You really don't know. Come on. You're telling me you don't know why you did what you did? Like, that's everybody right now. That could be even people physically right now. And they're just like, I don't know why I did it. I don't and um your ancestors and your spiritual guide, they're just like, really? You don't know. Mm. You cannot conform. I feel like don't tell people I copy you for clout. They wanted to copy you, but really about how stable you were and how spiritual you were. They wanted to copy that, but that's not something you can copy. You cannot copy that. Okay. Protect your blessings. You're being called to protect your blessings from this person. If this is a person that's trying to find you, trying to track you, trying to... It, because I said the commercial, it was like um, something about tracking, right? So this person could also owe a lot of money. And they're trying to do the bait and switch on you. Um, this is the person that's trying to like locate you, track you, find you. So do you have them blocked on social media? Because it says... This person, they're telling people that you're their friend. So if they're telling people that you're their friend, don't tell people I copy you for clout. People are finding out, if this is really your friend, why are you trying to find them on social media? This is somebody who is not your friend, but they think they're your friend, or they're telling people that they're your friend, or whatever but they're secretly trying to like put out hits on you secretly trying to find you on social media focused on my goals bribery um oh focus on my goals this person likes to bribe people So they bribed someone to put a hit out on you. You're focused on your goals. They wanted to put a bunch of endings to your life. Oh my God. <sighs> Spiritually barren. This person cannot produce anything. They're going through a lot of karma to the point where they, they cannot manifest. They're blocked. Mm. 
You have blessings. You're spiritually fertile. They're spiritually barren. They cannot, you know, and um, what was it? Uh, like uh, last week, I had a dream. I don't know if you've watched that video. But last week I had a um, dream. I think it was last week. Or maybe a couple days ago. Either way. You're going to have to watch like my videos to hear that dream. But in the dream, I was like in this garden. And it was a pretty garden. It was nice. It was beautiful. And it, and it felt calming, right? But nothing was alive in there. Nothing was growing. There were no butterflies, no birds, nothing, right? It was... I mean, it was green, but, and then at one point, um, there was like this entity and it went toward, I was watching the whole thing and I, it went, it walked towards this, this bush and it was kind of like, it was odd how the bush was placed. Like it was kind of like, um, I don't know, like it just didn't seem like it really fit in that spot. So it. It, I don't know, like it grabbed something that was like underneath the bush or buried in the bush or something. And it was like a mama rabbit with like, you know, um, like a couple baby rabbits, like three or four baby rabbits. And they were all dead. Now, rabbits, they symbolize fertility, right? Um, abundance, fertility, um, all of that good stuff, right? There were white rabbits and... Yeah, they were all dead. And like the entity, it like showed me the dead rabbits. And I was just looking at it. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, wow, okay. This person can't create anything. Their womb, whether it's um, spiritually manifesting or like, you know, uh, manifesting a baby. I mentioned this too in that video that their womb is empty. They can't... Um, they can't create life in their womb. So this person's going through karma. They're wolf in sheep clothing. They're a fake person. They're a karmic. They want to copy you. I feel like this person, they had you figured out with the you cannot conform. They were viewing you in a, in, in, a, in a certain way. Like, they thought they had you pegged out, right? It's kind of like they saw you and they're like, oh, okay, I know exactly what this collective person is. I know exactly who this person is, right? But the thing is, they had it all wrong. This is another reason why they thought that they could put hits out on you, right? If it wasn't physical hits, it was spiritual hits. Uh, one of the reasons why they thought they could do that is because they, they had you, like, they, they just, to them... And it was like, oh, I know exactly who this person is. But the reality is that is you're not. You're not even what this candle thinks you are or this candle or this candle or this candle. Like who you really are, they cannot fathom. You cannot be put in a box. That's not who you are. And they thought that you were someone who fit in the box that they looked at you. Like they viewed you as a certain thing and that's the box that they put you in. All right, uh, cleanse your home space, all right? If you're not doing that, do that. Um, because this person, they're trying to mess with your energy. They want to copy your energy. In order for them to do that, they need to sully your energy, all right? They need somewhere for their nasty energy to go. Can we hang out? They want to hang out with you. But remember, this is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person's, they have a tainted bloodline. They're, I'm telling you, if you walk near this person, you stand near this person, if you look at this person, it's, you can see and feel how dirty their blood is. It's, it's just dirty. It's, it's dirty. That's all I can say. This person is dirty. Like their blood is dirty. They, they just, they ruined it. By messing with you, they tainted their bloodline. Um, we have Leo and then we have Cancer. So you could be a Leo or somebody else could be a Leo or you could be a Cancer or somebody else could be a Cancer. 
But I feel like this really has to do with how confident you are. And you could be a mom too. So they were messing with a confident, spiritual, stable mom. What is wrong with this person? A confident, stable, spiritual mom. And they were trying to copy that. This person is not stable. If this person is a mom, they're not a good mom. They're not confident. They're very insecure. If they claim that they're spiritual, they, they're spiritually barren. Hello, they cannot. They're magic. They don't have magic. And here you are. You have nothing but magic. You're spiritually fertile. Like compared to, <laughs> compared to you, this person is like a rotten apple. And you are like a golden apple of the divine. Right? Like you can't, you're, you're rotten on the inside. Why would anyone want to take a bite out of that? No offense, right? But it's just like, come on, be real. What are you doing? Come on. There's this one contacts commercial and this one girl, she goes, what are you doing? Come on. So funny. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. And she's like chewing gum. So... Oh my gosh. Cada vez que te veo pasar. Yeah. This person, um, so I, my last video, that song came up by Selena. Bidi, 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 bamba. Cada vez que te veo pasar. Which in English, it translate to every time I see you pass by. Like this person, they want to see you in person. They're trying to track you. They're trying to find you. They just want to be able to like watch you and copy you. That's really what it is. They just want to copy you. They want to copy your confidence, your spirituality, your mothering, your, your stability. But you cannot copy that. <laughs> like, not only that, but like, it's like if this person knew what perfume you wore on a daily basis, they would run out and get that same perfume. Because they want to smell like you. They want to look like you. They want to talk like you. They want to be like you. Like, this is the same person that wants to do the bait and switch. They want to be the white witch. But they can't. They have a tainted bloodline. You cannot. Hermit, reverse. Retreat and recharge. This person can't do that. It's crazy because they want to do all of this. But they can't even go within themselves and heal themselves. Right? They're erratic. Their insides are erratic. They're all over the place. Their energy is like... um. It's fragmented, right? Hermit. They want to be you, but their insides are fragmented all over the place. Like, how are you going to... It is crazy, too, because this person is putting... If this person is a mom, they're putting more focus and effort on trying to be you and copy you than being a mom. Like... Don't you have kids? Like, go, go, where are your kids? Like, don't you have your own kids? Like, you're a mom too. Yeah, but I want to be that mom. What? Like, do you hear yourself? Like, yeah, but I want that confidence. I want that stability. I want that spirituality. Like, you don't even believe in God. We have a trader and eagle upright and then medicine guardian and reverse trader exchange energy to create abundance. This is what you can do, right? That's part of your ability. Um, exchange energy to create abund abundance, um, alchemy, right? Eagle see from a higher perspective, right? Um, I just heard, um, the eye of God. So you can all, you can see this. All right, you know what's going on. 
um, medicine guardian, be open to healing information, but it's in the reverse. So not only does this person not want to go within themselves and heal, they don't even like, they don't, they're not open to it. I want to be a stable mom. Are you open to healing? No, I don't want to heal, but I want to be a stable mom. Like what? How? This is like, um, I want to be a caterpillar, but I also want to be a butterfly. Well, do you want to be a butterfly? Yes. I want to be a butterfly. Okay, so then you cannot be a caterpillar anymore. But no, no, I want to be a caterpillar too. Like, you cannot be both. Either you're healed or you're not healed. Well, there is a silver lining in the middle where you're in the process of healing, but you've already done some healing. They don't want to go within. They don't want to heal. They're not even open to the idea of healing. Oh my gosh, look at this cup. Isn't it cute? I don't think I'm gonna actually yeah I am so that'll be like the closure hold on one second all right I'm back um I might have to cut it short but if it happens then you know it is what it is I know my baby okay so yeah So really, the, the biggest problem that this person has is that they're not open to healing and they don't want to go within themselves. But for some reason, you were such a problem that they put a hit out on you. Like, you're the one that doesn't want to go within yourself. How, how am I the problem? You know what I mean? <laughs> so... All right, let's see. Oh, hold on. Um, do you want some? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh. Do you like it? Okay, yeah. All right. All right, that was fast. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and it really fell on top of you cannot conform, which fell on top of how stable you are, your spirituality, your confidence, and, you know, you being a mom, a homemaker. Um, this is also about your home, too. They're just jealous about your home. Um, they're, they could have no home, but they're just like, their home life is a mess. Um, yeah. But you are in the Five of Pentacles reverse. So it's, you're not, this person. <laughs> they wanted you to be in the Five of Pentacles, but you're not. You're actually gaining finances. You're gaining, like, you're just in the process of gaining right now. You're all about gains right now. Only gains in your life, right? That's you, Collective. You're only gains. So, Five of Pentacles reversed. Spiritually fertile. And traitor. And because you're like, you basically have like the eyes of God. You can see, right? That's it. You can just see. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing good financially. You're making um, financial strides. So you're basically the whole package, right? King of Cups reverse. This person is very, very bitter and jealous and obsessive over everything that you have in your life right now. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is very much in their emotions. It's like, I don't know, like they feel 
First of all, this person is mad that you're protected. King of Cups reversed. And they want, if you have a, a, if your partner is a nice guy, they want your partner to be in the King of Cups reverse. Like they want your person to be emotionally unstable, jealous, obsessive. That or this person could be like a King of Cups in reverse, just jealous and obsessive over you. You're being called to protect your blessings from this person. There's something about your protection here. They're trying to like, um, it's like they're trying to track you. They're obsessed with tracking you, finding out about you, watching you. It's like you're too protected, right? You're, and not only that, but your privacy is being protected. And they don't like that. It's making them erratic, irrational, emotionally unstable. Uh, this is a, a narcissist. So... This ex-girlfriend or ex-wife is a narcissist operating out of heavy masculine energy. They don't want to do any healing. One of the most feminine things that you could ever do is healing, being connected to your spiritual divinity. That is one of the most feminine things you could do, and they don't want to do that. They just want to operate out of masculine energy. They just want to copy you and watch you and track you. There is, um, they're stuck. Oh, the King of Cups reverse energy. This is their energy and they're trying to project that onto you so that way you can like change it for them. But whatever energy that they put onto you, you get to keep and change it for yourself. And they're hoping that if they projected their energy onto you or if they switched their energy with you, they can get it back from you after you've changed it. But the thing is, whatever energy that they're throwing onto you, you keep it. You get to keep. It's yours. You're giving me all your nasty energy? Okay, fine. I'm going to take it. But I'm going to change it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to save for a rainy day. That's my energy now. You're not getting that back. You gave it to me. The tower reverse. They're trying to avoid a tower. They think that if they never go within themselves, if they never heal, they never have to go through this tower. They're trying to put you in a tower that they don't want for themselves. That's not going to happen. You have no towers to go through. You're not in any towers. You're not going to get hit with the tower. They're trying to put you in a tower that belongs to them. That's not how that works. You don't... What tower? Damn, these cards are just coming out. Nine of Swords reverse and the King of Swords reverse and reverse. So this could have been two women and a feminine doing this. Nine of Swords reverse. King of Swords reverse, King of Cups reverse. <laughs> these are all narcissists this person is mentally and emotionally unstable this person has to be delusional because there's no way you could be mentally unstable emotionally unstable refusing to heal refusing to go within yourself copying people and then oh I'm fine don't worry about it I'm okay like, this is a front. This person is putting a front. They don't want people to know that they're going through it because they don't want people to know that they were, in fact, the wolf in sheep's clothing the entire time. So they're putting up a front.
They're really going through it, though. They really are. Nine of Swords Reverse? Strength, right in the middle. Yeah. They can't mess with your confidence. You're way too strong for this. Like, you have, like, the strength of lions and angels. And you have the eyes of an eagle and god. Like, what? Emperor. So, you could be this uh, divine masculine and they're trying to put you in a tower. They're trying to put you like on some sort of fence, trying to make you waver. Um, so that way you're not focused on your goals. You're not confident. You're not taking lead in your life. You're not stable. You're not spiritual. That you hoping hoping that you can't see what's going on, what they're what they're trying to do. That, and I feel like either if you are with a divine feminine who is a mom, they're trying to, like, make you feel like you're, like, um, like, make you conflicted about being with her. That's for those of you who are in a partnership with, you know, uh, children. Because we do have the cancer card out. It's, it's so, it's like... Collective, you are in such a healthy place right now. Why would you take a bite out of this rotten apple when you have a golden apple? Like, I don't... This person is, like, really hoping that you would take a bite out of their rotten apple. Like, their bloodline is tainted. King of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. This person is stuck. If this is somebody, oh my gosh. Okay. If this ex-girlfriend or ex-wife is the ex-girlfriend or ex-wife of this emperor, what she's trying to do is befriend this divine masculine's person to intimidate them, copy them, like fake friends, right? And then do the bait and switch. Because in reality, she doesn't want to go within herself. She doesn't want to heal. She copies people and then be like, oh, I don't know why I did it. I'm right? She has King of Pentacles reverse, King of Swords reverse, King of Cups in reverse. She has like no um, femininity in her at all. Like it's not there. Which is interesting because she wants to copy a divine feminine who is in her, who is who's like a mom. Whether or not this ex-girlfriend, ex-wife is a mom. Like, you're trying to copy, like, a divine feminine, and you're operating out of nothing but masculine energy. Like, you're not, this is, like, you're not ladylike, right? It's kind of like that. This person has no money. They're mentally unstable. They're emotionally unstable. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is, like, a, a gold digger. Uh, a narcissistic, emotionally abusive, obsessive, jealous, codependent, gold digger. And this is all that they put their time and money into. Like, this is what they invest in. They invest in a toxic lifestyle. This is... That's all they want to do. They just want to invest in this codependent narcissism. And they're trying to mess with this emperor, trying to put him on some sort of fence so where he will not, he can't see what's going on. He doesn't have confidence. He doesn't focus on his goals and his dreams. Instead, what this person wants to do, they want to confuse this emperor so that way they will take a bite out of this rotten apple. But here's the thing. This emperor knows that if he takes a bite out of this rot rotten apple, he will lose everything that he has been blessed with. And there's no going back. He knows what's going on.
this woman just wants to invest. This is all she puts her time and energy into, codependent narcissism. The magician. Yeah, this emperor can create magic. He's using all his powers to focus on his his dreams and his goals. Hi, my baby. Can I have some? Mmm, yummy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He's putting everything he has in his goals, his dreams. Seven of Wands on top of 444 Protected. On top of Traitor, but it came out horizontal. He's protected. And if he is with a union, a divine union, they're both protected. Their family, their dreams, their goals. It's all protected. This woman, she's not protected. And she's trying to find some sort of like um, uh, like a chink in the armor. And she needs to watch out because this emperor or this mother, this divine mother, their ancestors are ready to fight. Right? They're ready. They're ready because she thinks that she's fighting against this emperor or divine feminine mother. She's not fighting against them. She's fighting against their combined spiritual team, spiritual uh, guides, the divine God. She's Knight of Swords. There's a lot of positive changes happening in this couple's life. And it's like she's trying to stop it from happening. She wants this emperor to invest in her. But it's like, why would I invest someone into, why would I invest into someone who has no money, who's emotionally unstable, who's mentally unstable, who doesn't want to heal, who can't even see like they're, what they're doing, who wants to copy everybody. Why would I invest into that? Why? That makes no sense. And on top of that, if I invest into you, I will lose everything that I've worked hard for in my life up until now. That makes no sense. He's connected to this divine mother. He could have children with this divine mother. He's connected. He's not going to take a bite out of this rotten apple for what? He's got goals and dreams, and she just wants to be, she wants people to invest in her narcissism, her codependency, her jealousy, her mental instability, her emotional instability, her emotional codependency, right? She wants people to invest in her and only her, and he's trying to invest in his goals and his dreams. And that's why they are protected. She is not. Ten of cups in reverse. Oh my god. She's trying to cause some sort of change where it messes with their emotional, like their family. Like their um them being the way they are makes her miserable. It makes her depressed. Also, the fact that their their home is like clean or cleansed. And that their blessings are being protected, it makes her miserable. Because that's also on top of protect your blessings and cleanse your home slash space. It makes her miserable and depressed. King of Cups reverse, King of Swords reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. Wow. It's like you and your person, you Divine Masculine and your person, Divine Feminine, Divine Mother... Your stability, your confidence, your spirituality, your faith, your home, your protection, everything. It makes this ex-girlfriend, ex-wife miserable. It's like she cannot cope. 
She needs people to invest in her so she can continue to be narcissistic, emotionally unstable, mentally unstable, all of it. And not only that, but she's trying to copy your person so that way she can have you invest into her instead. But what you're really investing is her toxicity. He's like, why would I invest into you? Like, I see you, right? We got ego. He sees this ex-girlfriend, ex-wife for who she really is, for what she really is. He sees it. And that also, it makes her, like, she just cannot cope, man. Like, wow. It's so sad how the happiness and stability of a couple can make someone feel this way. Like, you're really that depressed because two people are happy and in love? Like, that's so weird to me. Like, you definitely need to heal. That's why Medicine Guardian and Hermit came out. Yeah, this person definitely needs to heal because it's like they're really offended that this couple is happy and stable. She's really offended. All right, I'm going to pull a couple more and then I'm going to call it because I'm already almost at an hour. Three of Swords, reverse. She feels betrayed. Also, I feel like she could have been pretending that she wasn't, like, sad about this. Because it came out on top of the King of Cups reverse. So she feels betrayed, but she's, like, pretending that she's not heartbroken. She's pretending that she's, like, not bothered by this couple. She's, like, you know, pretending that she's not in the Nine of Swords upright. That she's... She's got it, but at the same time, she's got the King of Swords in reverse, right? And the Ten of Cups reverse, Hermit reverse, like, just. So she's been telling the whole world that she's fine, she's got it. But people are seeing this, and this Emperor, he can see it, right? He's got eagle eyes. He can see her for what she really is, for what's really going on. Like, if you really were... Like, the thing is, too, like, if you really were that unbothered, you wouldn't be doing all of this. You wouldn't be trying to stalk either, she's either trying to stalk this emperor or the divine mother. Like, you wouldn't be trying to track them. You wouldn't be trying to find them. Ten of Pentacles. She's depressed because she wants generational wealth. She wants a family. She wants money. She wants to be living in a cozy, happy life. She wants stability. She wants that, but she's she doesn't have that. So another thing, too, is she could be passing off as she being in the Ten of Pentacles, and then this couple is in the Ten of Cups reversed. But that doesn't make sense because... How are they in the Ten of Cups when their actions, their their lives, their relationship doesn't show it, right? She could have also been telling people that they were in the Ten of Cups reverse. But she's in the Ten of Cups reverse. Anyways. Hmm. All right, this is going to be the last one. All right, energy for the collective. Be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. Yeah. And remember, the card that came out for the collective as well was you cannot conform. So you cannot conform and then be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. This person cannot copy you. Right? 
they want to, this woman wants to do a bait and switch with uh, Divine Mother's energy, but she's a Divine Mother for a reason. She cannot be copied. All right. So this is your reading. I hope you enjoy. I hope you get something from it. If you need a personal reading, you're welcome to email me. Okay. Have a great Sunday. Bye.